everyone, and welcome back to another video. Today, I did something kind of strange. I decided to start recording this at like 3 a.m. because everyone else on like Instagram was like discording and like getting ready for the new horse. So I decided to do something kind of weird and just buy the horse as soon as it came out because everyone else is doing that and I cannot, cannot wait. Um, luckily the one that I really want has come out. I know some of the more popular ones have not come out yet, like the Blue Roan and the, like, the freckled one or the dappled one, but I really, I love the Palomino. I'm not really a fan of dapples, so I'm not really upset. So here's the first one that I saw. It's really, really cute. I really, like, I love the, their design and, like, everything about them. And then there's this bay one that I also was kind of considering getting. To be honest, I was kind of considering getting a lot of them, but I only have enough for one. And then I decided to go to Fort Pine Pinta to go and see the Palomino, um, which is so cute, and I decided to get this one, because I, as soon as I saw it in the ad, or the, or the teaser, I wanted it so badly, and I looked up a few names, and I really love the name Willow, but this is a horse that is western-based, and the, the name I chose is a uh, sweet tea, which I know is a drink that's in the that's it from the south, but western is a style of writing. It's not necessarily just in the west. It can be it's written everywhere. So I decided to name her sweet tea because I think it's just like similar enough. I mean, I'm not from the south. I'm not from. I am from the west. So I think I can say that I can name this horse this. So, sorry if you care about that, but it's just a name. But her name, for me, is Willow, and, um, I looked all over. I knew that, I know that they added a few new names, like Spring, I think, is a new name that you can add now, or, or use now, but I didn't really hear. At first I thought of Cinder because of a tree. I kind of tried to find tree-inspired name, but I already have an opal, and I don't think they have any other tree names. Besides, Sweet Tea is such a cute name, and I know, I love it a lot. Um, I think this is probably the only time where I've taken, consider taken naming a horse seriously, because I think I want to do maybe, like, a realistic roleplay with her, maybe on Instagram, like, I see a lot on Instagram. <laughs> I finally bought the horse, I'm so excited. Um, yeah, um... I don't know. Tell me what you think. I really want to do it. I think it'd be really fun, especially during especially during quarantine. I think that would give me something really fun to do um, in the game and also outside of the game. I don't really know. But here she is. She's so cute. I really like their, like, how they're just, they just stand. Like, they're just, like, they're awkward horses. Like, a lot of people... Did not like the older version, and I didn't either, but, like, they kept saying they are like, awkward horses. But some horses are just awkward, like, in general, in real life. Also, they have this new cute space bar thing. I don't know what it's called, because I don't do Western. I've never done Western, so I don't really know the terms. I'm really sorry. But it's really cute. Also, I think that this rear is so good. Like, some of the rears are too fast and, like, too stiff. But this seems just so much more natural, and oh, uh, it's so, so, so cute. I'm just going to get some tack on her. I'm doing western because I know that they're used for, they're, they can be used for any type of writing, because any horse can really do any type of writing. Um, but um, I decided to do western because, I mean, I felt, I kind of think they look better in western. Um, also, this is, this is just... Everything about her is inspired by the West or her origin and everything. So, yeah. I think this horse is so, so, so good. I think they really did a really good job. Um, I really like the, the dynamic movements that they have, which I'll show later in the video. 
I think that they're amazing. I did a few training with her because, ev again, everything I, all my voiceovers are, are after I play the game. Um, and I've been playing the game a little bit longer with her. I did some soul writing um, training. I did some missions, which I just unlocked. And she did per she did so well on them. It was amazing. Um, she's so good. I just, like, I don't know what, what it's about this horse, but I think they did a really good job. I didn't have the American Quarters before this. Um, the old version, but I did have like American Paint, which is very similar to their model. In fact, I think that they're almost the exact same model. So I can kind of base them off of that. And can I just say that there is a vast improvement from their animations? Like, it, there's there's like such a like there's like no comparison really. Um, they're just amazing. And like, here's her like galloping and everything. And I'm gonna head to Marley's. To just compare them because I kind of want to be like, look how good you could have been for all these years, but you just couldn't. I mean, I'm so excited. This means that they're probably going to be updating more horses, which I know a lot of people want new tack. And here I am being an idiot, jumping into a, a fence like I'm a noob, but whatever. Um... I think that they're going to be starting to update more horses, like hopefully the American Paints. I covered this when I went to Starshine. I really hope that they co they come out with updated American Paints and all that. Napaloosas, because they're beautiful horses and they don't do them justice in this game whatsoever. Um, and I know a lot of people want tack, but I'm here for the horses. I'm not really here for the new tack, but I am really excited for the new bridle that is coming out next week. Um, so here's the old version. This is Gen 3, technically. This new version is Gen 3. That is Gen 2. Um, I mean, look, they're not even, they're not, you can't even tell that they're inspired off of the same horse. Like, you just can't. Um, those are the American paints and everything, and I think they're a pretty similar model, so I hope that means that they're going to be updating them. I was going to test out the, um, games and everything at the ranch, to level her up or just to see how she jumps and everything but I didn't want to glitch out and I especially now there's so many people there and it's like really early in the morning it's literally 3 a.m in the morning when I'm recording this but I didn't want to take any chances of having to restart the game while recording so I just decided to do it here and this is obviously jumping, which is not Western exactly, but you do jump sometimes in Western and everything. It's just a basic thing, um, and all writing. Um, and she did so well. Um, I didn't have to restart this one at all. Um, to be honest, I really, like, felt like, like, for some reason, whenever I jump or do races, I never really, like, think of the technicalities and, like, just want to get the race done. But I actually, like, cared about what I was writing. I don't really know why. This horse just feels, I don't know, I don't, I've never ridden, maybe I have ridden American Quarter, I don't know. But I just, like, it felt so real. Also, like, it reminded me a lot of Red Redemption 2 and how their horses are, like, modeled and everything. Like, I just, like, obviously they're, one of their, the first horses you can get is an American Quarter because they're just very common horses. Um, and that was a whole, like, Western-styled game. Um, and, I don't know, it just reminds me of that. I've never actually played the game. I have watched so many videos on it. I want to play it so badly. And I've, like, watched videos of how they make the horses. And this kind of reminds me of it for some weird reason. And here I'm going to try barrel racing, which is what they're kind of known for um, in Western. Um, American Quarters are pretty much known for barrel racing. And to be honest, I don't really like barrel racing. I know a lot of people do. My friend Penny really does. Um, which, by the way, I will be doing an all-nighter with her. I tr we tried to do it before. The filming was a mess, so we just scrapped it. Um, but we're going to do it this weekend, and I'm really excited for that. Um, so get ready for that. Um, yeah. And that's their fun little movement that they can do again. I just, it was, I just kept like messing around with the animation and everything. Um, so yeah, they also do this weird thing where if you walk a little bit and you do you click your space bar and your X at the same time, they just rear, which is not really a special animation. It's not really a special feature like it for other horses that, that other horses don't have, but 
Um, yeah. So I'm just gonna go to, I'm gonna go to Steve's and test out the gates and everything in a more smaller environment. That's, there's not a lot of people here. So that is their walk. And that is their trot. Um, I did, I repeated it to just, just see them again. There's not really a difference. I think it's just like a faster walk, which is fine because some, not all horses are made for like dressage and fancy movements and sometimes it's not really that big of a difference. It's just in speed. That's their gallop, um, and that's their fast gallop, um, and I think this horse is really, really, really well done. They kind of remind me of the Andalusians, which is really weird because obviously they're not even close in relation to each other. Just the detail of them, just everything about them is just like so well done. Just like the Andalusians and like even the Lusitanos, I think that they're amazing. And here I am testing the jump out. Um, I think this jump is really cool. I think it kind of reminds me of the Chinko Chinko Teagues. Like, they're, I don't know if I'm saying they're right, but, like, their jump, like, their head and it goes up and everything. They also kind of, like, have a very similar face to the Jinko Teague. And here I am trying to take a photo for a thumbnail, but also, like, I kind of wanted to see the face a little bit more because the face is very low down, which is, I think is pretty realistic to the, to the actual horse breed. Which, again, like, this is what I'm kind of looking for. And I think a lot of people are, is realism and, like, with how similar they are to the actual breed. Um, so, like, yeah, like, when I, when I look at um, Arabians and everything, they do kind of look like the, like, the Arabians in this game. Obviously, people think that they're spiders or weird looking, but they are kind of strange looking, like, horses. They're beautiful horses, but they're kind of just more unique and not so generic. Same with, like, Aquatique, the Aquatiques, so... I think that's something that people need to keep in mind when they're judging these horses is that these horses are not designed for perfection. They're not, they're real animals. Like, obviously not in the game, but like, the horses are real animals and they're not like machines or like art that you can mold. They're just like how they are in the game and in real life. So I think that's also important when judging horses. Um, I'm a very realistic person. I'm a very sensible person. So this is just how I think. Obviously, you don't have to. It's just a game. Um, these are 950 star coins, which I think is... I don't know if it's overpriced. This might be a, the hype of the new horse. Um, but let me know what you think about that. Um, because the other American Cor American Quarters, the old version, the Gen 2, is 850. So they upped the price by 100 star coins, um, which is a lot. I started this off with 1,020 star coins, and I now have 120, so it drained it very fast. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping by the time the other ones come out, I'll have enough to buy a new one, but I'm on a rush. I am going to take my time and just enjoy this one as I have it, and yeah. Also, I'm kind of going to photo mode to look at the details of it, their face and everything. Because when you buy it at first, there's not a lot of details in their face, or like you can't really you can't really see them up close and everything. So I think this horse is stunning. I love 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 the color coat on this horse. I love the the like the veins in their face and like. I don't know, there's just something about it that just feels so much more realistic. And, like, their, their snout and there is, like, like just so detailed. And, like, I mean, look at that glow off of that horse and, like, the, the dimensions and, like, the detail. I just think that they're so well done. They're so similar to the Andalusians, in my opinion, of, like, how detailed they are. The Andalusian, the, the, the new version came out a while ago, so, like, I'm really happy that they're kind of upping their leather, um, their whole, like, detail game, which is amazing. Um, I'm an eye draw, so I'm really keen to details and everything, and I think it's just really, really pretty. Um, yeah, that's something I don't love about the game, is that they can't really decide what style they want to go for. Like, sometimes, <clears throat> wow, losing my voice, sometimes they want to go for a more cartoony version for their horses and then other times like this 
they like to be a little more realistic, which is fine, but it's a little confusing. And they also kind of do that with their characters, which we did get an update. We might be getting some new characters, but anyways, I'm going to sign off because it's late. Um, so yeah, have a nice day.